Matt Bart Cook, head coach for the West Side Rough Riders, and coach uh, improving the seven and one overall today. Big win over NKA in the Super Essence Conference Liberty. You really did a nice job on the boards today. Uh, Williams, King and Company really, really dominated the glass. Tell us about that. I think after our last game, Steve, we got we got out rebounded by East Orange campus. So I went back, you know, for the elementary coaching. We worked on boxing out, we worked on calling out shot, boxing out. I don't know if you heard me yelling at the team. And I say we say getting sauce, the kids say getting sauce. I wanted them to be physical in that paint, put body on body. I want you to win your battle on offense and defense, and that was the that was the old agenda for the week, and then I think you saw some of that happen today. So just trying to get better every game. Alfonso Anderson, uh, formerly of North Vocational. Now, of course, with West Side and his three-point shooting helped in the first half. Streaky shooter, but also a great all-around player. Had a lot of rebounds today and some assists. Yes, we, we've been looking at the stats. Like, we have one of my coaches taking the stats, and I told Alfonso, I know his shot wasn't working right yet early in the season because of he dislocated his finger. So, told him, just, just you, you're, a, you, you're a player. You're a shooter. Be an all-around player. So, Alfonso ended up just started getting more assists, started getting more rebounds, started getting more steals, and let the game come to him. See, I seen at the beginning, everybody was being kind of passed trying to see who wanted to step up. But after a while, I was like, Fonzo, this is your team, brother, go. And he ended up going. He made a lot of big shots for us early, and they got the team going at the end where he could just start getting some layups from, you know, driving off the three. And that part of this team, you coached Mark Vocational the last few years, now with Westside. It seems like it's been like a seamless transition, very smooth. Ch uh, change for you guys? I have to say that the, the, the fall ball and the summer ball help us out a lot. We got to start, the, got the kids coming over, uh, Nashi Jackson, Taleb Lacey, uh, Keon Thomas. We got some of the kids that start to come over in the fall with the Bloomfield League and then with the Zoo Crew League and then we did the JFK League. So they got a lot of ball in before the season actually started. So that's why it looks seamless. But the way we play, Steve, just all out, this help the skelter. I think anybody can come in and play this way as long as they're athletic and they got the will and desire to get that ball. So I think that's what helps us out most of all. Of course, winning the North Public Schools Tournament Championship first time in several years. And then uh, you dropped a close game to East Orange. But that was a, that's a tough territory to play in there, a good squad. Looks like in the county tournament seedings coming up, uh, seeding January 21, uh, seeding all prep East Orange, West Side could be the top three teams. Yes, I'm hoping everything stays and runs the course. I don't. We, we play East Orange campus a little late. I think it's after the seeding, and we. I think East Side got moved up, but I think the county seeding be be out before that. So long as we stay the course and we keep doing, you know, come working hard every day and know what we're doing, it should be one, two, three going into the uh, Essex County tournament. And we're looking for a, a big time rematch with uh, East Orange campus and the state, uh, and excuse me, the counties. And of course, the state tournament looking way down the line. Uh you guys could be a big factor as well. Yes, we, we I spoke to Steve Timko and Don Dancer down there. We was telling them that we had group two numbers, but since they go on last year's numbers, they said, Cook, you, you, you're group three. So now that we know we're group three this week, I spoke to Tim on Monday. So now we can start looking at the field. We see the, uh, I believe it's um, East Side's in there, I believe Orange, the Irvington. So we see the competition. There's a couple of teams from the state that we need to start scouting, but we, we out there right now, Steve, looking at everyone. Well, Akbar, uh, great job with Westside so far, and good luck in the counties and also the rest of the SEC Liberty schedule. Thank Akbar you, sir. Akbar Cook, North Vocational, <laughs> formerly now with Westside. <laughs> Westside. They've combined this year and doing a great job. Thank you, sir. Always a pleasure, Steve. Thank you for all the coverage. We definitely read it and we honor your blogs all the time. Thank you.